Hi, it's Mike with UTask. I'm here again at GoToConf 2015, and I'm standing here with the Grand Poopa, the grandfather, the Godfather, not grandfather. Um, I'm, I'm dating you. Uh, well, actually, I'm not dating you. Uh, but uh, I'm here with Dave Thomas, who is helped bring GoToConf to Chicago, and with it, all the other events that are that are around GoToConf. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Well, it's great to be with you again, Mike, yeah. and we appreciate your uh, support of the user community in Chicago. Um, Yes, it was. Uh, I was working here uh, just before the financial crisis, and we made this plan to bring a conference to Chicago with uh, a few folks like Dean Wampler and a yeah. bunch of other user group folks. And uh, um, they said, "Well, you you haven't delivered." <laughs> so yeah, we, we gotta... decided to come back. You know, this is our third year, and it's great to be in Chicago. We love doing these. Uh, conferences in cities which have a great tech community that um, sometimes can benefit from having uh, speakers come from outside. I mean, the Chicago community by itself has got so many great speakers that you know we like to have them at our conferences other yeah. places, but this way we can have some different accents perhaps come and talk yeah. about some different things. Well, and one of the things I like about GoToConf, and I was talking with people out on the floor, is when I go to a RubyConf, I kind of know everybody who's there. If I go to a .NET Conf, I kind of know everybody's there, and everybody kind of knows who the speakers are, but when you come to a go-to conf there's people that are kind of blow your brains out of the back of your head but you might not know them because they're not necessarily in whatever sub community usually gets represented um, well i think that's i mean really the the mission we have is really to try and bring to try and make people aware of, of you know great people and great developments in the industry and our pc works very hard uh, to try and find uh, new speakers, try and track different trends, and uh, we have a pretty high turnover ratio with speakers, and we actually have a rule that we don't, we won't ever have a speaker speak in one city three times in a row. Oh, okay. Uh, so we we try and uh, we try and involve um, people covering a broad variety of topics. So uh, you know, really, our thanks to our international PC yeah. who are constantly uh, digging out speakers, and we also try and bring on people that uh, you know aren't well known, which is a bit of a problem. That's one of the reasons we have this sort of long introduction yeah. in the morning is that you know, often people, they know about the brand, right? So-and-so who wrote the 20 books and yeah. is very popular and so on. And that's always great to have them. But we often have some real up-and-comers or some people that have done some really unique work. And we try and feature them as well. And I think people, I think that's one of the people's things. People come in they say, oh, I'm going to go to this talk. And all of a sudden they hear about this and they say, oh, you know, there's really two of us here from the company. Yeah. I think I'll go to the other one. And then yeah. they're both going to the talk that yeah, they didn't yeah. plan on going to. So if that works, then I think it's a good so idea. So a little bit of serendipity. You yeah. know. And I mean, and just seeing some of the, the uh, credentials for some of the speakers, I mean, seeing JPL, seeing NASA in, in the names of, of, of you know, the, the credentials for some of the speakers is, is kind of mind-blowing. Like, going to go hear somebody who's actually put stuff in space. and But then you can also turn around and go learn about JavaScript and how to do the best te techniques with JavaScript. It's really broad spectrum. Well, I think one of the things that, you know, I mean, focus conferences are really valuable, incredibly valuable. You go to your language conference or your platform conference and they're really, really, really good because of that. You go deep yeah. in your particular set of skills. Um, but, you know, in, the world, in a world that's changing breadth and depth, Depth are important, so we try and go uh, long in some of the other areas yeah. that other people. You know, I mean, we 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 were pimping functional programming a long time ago with a lot of people staring at us very right. strangely. Right. Yeah, and now um, it's moving more into the mainstream and into into main languages. So we we try and sort of push the edge a bit, and we sort of try to say, look. This isn't just academic stuff. This, yeah. this stuff is actually in use, so we try and find people that cross over and so that people come and go, oh, wow, you know, I've actually learned something new and yeah. different, and maybe I'll go to that other user group for a change yeah, instead exactly. of the one I go to every month. Right? Yeah, exactly. That, that it, it's about uh, a little bit of a, uh, the, 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 um, 
what was it, the poly, the polyglot programmer, the polyglot yeah, very community much. member. Yeah, to so, quote you know, yeah. Dean Wampler, who probably started the yeah. polyglot uh, popularity. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me, Dave. I appreciate it. It's great, and yeah. thanks a lot, Mike, for your work with the community and, and to all the user group heads. I mean, communities made by people and people who are willing to put their time in and do things really need the support of the community. So thanks very much to all of you in Chicago as well. Yes, thanks. We love having you. All right.